So in here, I have three values. One is a numeric value, one is a categorical value, and the other one is a Boolean value. And I have a set of instructions for each of those values. So for example here, if cell B5, which is this one, is greater than 69, we want to make sure that the value that we're going to return is pass, otherwise fail. And then for this one here, if the value of cell B6 is dog, then the value that we're going to assign is bark in here, and then else give a value of meow. If cell B7 is a true value, then give a value of 1000. Otherwise, do not give any value at all. So let's look at each of the values here and assign the right logic according to these instructions. So the first one, if we go here and then click on F2, you will see the logic here. And first thing that you have to do is type on equal sign and then the if statement and then open parenthesis. And then B5 is referencing this one, greater than 69 and then comma. Right after the first comma, you'll notice here that there is a double quote before and after pass because this one is a categorical value. And then after that is put a comma again for the false value. And the same thing because this is a categorical value, you, you put a double quote before and after that value, and then close it with a parenthesis, and then enter it. As you can see here, if the value is, let's say, 60, you will see a fail value there. But if it's greater than 60, let's say 85, then you will see pass. And it's the same logic with assigning the bark and the meow. If this is a cat, then you will see meow. And then if it's a dog, then you will see bark and the last one but not the least is a boolean value here so the logic here is a little different if we click on f2 so when you type equal sign and then if and then open parenthesis and then b7 referencing this cell here is equal to true you will notice that there's no double code before and after true because this one is a boolean value and then after that one comma and then you're going to show the value for true which is in this case 1000 after that another comma for the false value and assign a double code for missing and then you just enter and that's all about using the if function